Our six and a half furlongs, just less than one complete circuit. Just over three minutes to run the final classic of the season. The field leave the stalls. Through the early stages, there's no fantastic pace on all Persian from wide out. A few jockeys glancing across and see that Nelson is going to move forward with DXB to take the field along early in the ledger. So it's Nelson out in front for Michael Hussey. DXB, old Persian just caught a little wide and a little keen in the all blue Godolphin silks on the outside of Prashima. Uh, they're being tracked by, on the rails, the white cap belonging to Loxley, who is on the inner at this stage of the white cap purple jacket of southern France. Then we have Kew Gardens, who settled round about midfield alongside Lartidar at this stage. Made ups on the outside of Zabriskie. Raymond Tusk is held up towards the back, and the Pentagon is the overall back marker. So they're making their way down towards the final ten furlongs of the ledger, and Nelson just setting an even pace. DXB in second, Proshima in third, and now, just in time for the bend, Old Persian's been able to get in there in fourth place. Lox is staying one off the rail, and that's just forcing, at this stage, southern France to cover a little bit of ground. He's currently racing in round about sixth or seventh place as they continue this left-hand turn. Q Gardens is now a link clear from Lati Dar, then Zabriski, the grey filly, made up in the last two, the Pentagon, and Raymond Tusk is now last of all. So an even gallop continuing to be set by Nelson, who moves down the side of the race course and heads the field to the final mile. Nelson leading, DXB on the outside of Proshima, a neck between the pair. Old Persian is in fourth place. Fifth place is Loxley on the inside at this stage of southern France. Kew Gardens is the one in seventh with move to operate. Then behind these, Lati Dar in the pink colours, still just held on to by Frankie de Torre. You just asked her to get a little bit closer there in about uh, eighth or ninth place, just ahead of made up Zabriski Raymond Tusk. And still last of all is the Pentagon. So Nelson's now making this a pretty solid test. They continue this steady turn back towards home and entering the final three quarters of a mile. Proshima in second, DXB is being ridden. In fourth place we have Old Persian, then in fifth place towards the outside southern France of Loxley, then Kew Gardens being tracked every step of the way by Lati Dar, made up, then the Pentagon, Zabriskie and Raymond Tusk. The field are now making the turn for home in the ledger and it's Nelson who leads them up this long straight. DXB flat to the boards, Proshima still travels well. Old Persian comes next, shaken up Kew Gardens, Lati Dar, both of them still quite well back in the field at the moment and Frankie is asking Lati Dar who's just taking a while to get organised. Nelson as Old Persian moves up strongly then Proshima DXB Kew Gardens now down the outside pursuing Southern France in the white cap Lati Dar still with a couple of links to find Old Persian Kew Gardens and Southern France make their way to the two furlong pole in the ledger. Lati Dar is trying to get on terms with this wave of four. It's Kew Gardens and Southern France who forge on on the inside Old Persian. Lati Dar is still in vain pursuit at the moment of Kew Gardens, a furlong to go in the ledger, and it's Kew Gardens out in front, Latida with two legs to find, and it's Kew Gardens who got first run, was the more professional, and as a result will win the ledger. Kew Gardens won the ledger for Ryan Moore and Aiden O'Brien.